Yo. Come see what I'm working on. First and foremost, we've got the big bike in the works. Got parts, waiting for a couple more things to come. Got to build up a wheel. That's coming soon. But more importantly and more urgently, we've got new toys. I acquired a Cricut and a heat press. And today we're gonna run a test on making my own custom jersey. So we already cut out a few of the Tri-Cities logos. These are the, um, this is the gravity team that I'm racing for this year. Cut out a couple of their logos because I want to make a couple of t-shirts. Let's do that now. So we've got the heat press preheating. We've already used the Cricut to cut out our um, decals. Two Tri-Cities decals, we're putting them on these two comfort color shirts. Tri-Cities logo here in the center and then use the heat press to apply them and then we'll do the same thing for the gray shirt. And apply the heat, press play, let that cook. And just like that, we've got a couple custom shirts. Check this out. Pretty cool. Let's try gray. Yeah, I like that. Good enough. Now, we've run a couple tests. Let's move on to the jersey. All right, so the jersey we're using I already did the same process with the Tri-Cities logo and got that on here. I need to add my bike shop logo, the Earth Mountain logo, and then I've got about six other brands that I'm writing for that I want to add either below the bike shop logo, on a sleeve, or down the back under my name. And we're going to go ahead and get them cut out, um, and then we'll kind of play with placement and see where we want to put them. All right, let's dive into the computer and I'll show you what I got. All right, jumping into design software. This is the software for the vinyl cutter. We've got our big bike shop logo, which is gonna be at the top, and then these, I can probably even make these a little smaller. We've got this size to be exactly the same width as the existing uh, team logo. Might make this a little smaller, and then these are probably all definitely get a little smaller. But these seven are the other uh, sponsors that I've got for the year, specific brands that I'm working with. Um, these, I think, are we're going to play with the placement a little bit. I'm going to print them once in one big block, and then I'm also going to cut them out like this and rearrange them in one column, kind of going from widest to narrowest, generally, and see if we can fit them on a sleeve, and let's see what that looks like. So we're going to print both. We're gonna kind of print all of this. We'll cut it all out. Um, and then we will start playing around with where all of this is gonna live on the jersey itself.
got everything weeded out. Let's start laying things out on the jersey. All right, we're gonna start with the bike shop logo because we know that's where that's going. And we know that's gonna go right front and center, just below the team logo, right about there. Make sure everything's running parallel. And at the end of the day, this is a test, so we're just going for good enough, is good enough here. But I think that's pretty close. Let's press it. Once we pull this, we'll see if it looks better, if the rest of the logos look better on the sleeve, on the front, or on the back. Give it a flip, back. There we go. Now, gonna let that cool off, and then we'll give it a peel. And there we go. I think I like the way these sit on the back. There's these kind of vent holes which taper in towards the bottom of the jersey. And then there's also my last name on the back. So it gives it a little more white um, just to kind of break things up. That way the front isn't so busy. And then we just gotta make sure that we don't put it too far down so that the logos are gonna get tucked in. So I'm gonna try to line these up right with the bottom of these perforations so they'll kind of be in the middle of my lower back and then there'll be a blank space and then my name will be at the top. Awesome, we've got these pressed. Now I just gotta wait for it to cool and it'll be good to peel. Go ahead and turn this guy off. So there you go. Well, got everything all laid up. We've got team logo, bike shop logo, smaller sponsor logos, and uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. So yeah, that's how to make your own custom mountain bike race jersey, or at least how I did it. I'm sure there's a million ways to do things, but yeah, I think as, as a test run, this worked pretty good. So I'm excited to get my real kit in and, and make it for real for now. This is pretty cool. So yeah, jersey's made. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, hit subscribe, stick around to see uh, what we make next. Peace.